We made the noises. We, they made the noises? Yo! That's so cool! <laughs> I got the chill. That is so sick! <laughs> they said we made the noises. Punch. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Twisted Habits. New episode every Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, what's up, Twisted Habits? We are back with another video. Today we are in Riverside, California. We are at Mount Rubido. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. If you haven't, um, Mount Rubido was actually um, named Mount Rubido because of a wealthy man named uh, Luis Rubido. He eventually sold Mount Rubido to Frank Miller. Frank Miller was the owner of the Mission Inn. Um, and I know there's a lot of like conspiracies about the, the tunnels being catacombs and stuff like that that go from Mount Rubido to Mission Inn. Um, I'm still investigating that. I don't think that was the case. I think it was uh, the tunnels were built for the steam, um, from, for industrial steam to be let out so that it wasn't let out in the population it actually went out into the, uh, the the tunnels, which then came out this way, if it was that much pressure. Um, but speaking of Mount Rubido, it's actually a very interesting place. I've been here before. Um, it's been a very long time. The last time I did come, I did get some really good communication, uh, especially on the EVP. Um, but the things that are rumored here is um, definitely paranormal occurrences. Um, there's a few interesting ones that we're going to try to find out today as we get further in the investigation. But um, more so, there's shadow figures. They, people have said there's Satanists that are here. They're coming out of the tunnels, those types of things. Um, this is all, you know, rumored. Um, from what I experienced was there was definitely voices in, in the distance, in the wind, as you can say. Uh, EVP's spirit box was on point. Um, it does feel, certain areas do feel eerie. But one of the ones that's interesting to me, um, because the last time I came, I was with a friend named Jesse and my brother-in-law named Milo. We were actually where I'm at right now, and we were messing around coming down the side of the mountain. And when we finally relaxed after we were done playing around, a rock goes flying by us. My immediate thought is, you know, there could be someone up there throwing rock, but it was like four in the morning. Then I'm doing my research uh, this past week on Mount Rubido, just digging deeper and looking at other people's stories. And they're saying that it's uh, Duendes. If you don't know what Duende is, this is a Duende. Um, and that the Duendes are throwing rocks to keep us off of this property because it's native land, it's their land, those types of things. Um, I'm not sure. I do remember a rock going by me though the first time I was here. And there's a lot, a lot of people saying that it's, uh, you know, it, it's definitely haunted. I agree it's haunted already. Um, I'm actually f excited to do this video with you guys. Um, Clyde isn't here today. Clyde had to handle some things. Um, but my wife is. She's actually the one holding the camera. Pond, say hello. Hello. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, without no more further ado, I want to jump right into it. Let's get it. Um, so, Pond. Uh, how do you feel about being on this investigation? It's been a while since you've been a part of a Twisted Habits investigation. Um, I feel a little uneasy, uh -huh. a little bit, just because just standing here in this little section for the few minutes that we're standing here, I just keep hearing noises behind us, and then every time I would flash the light, there's nothing there. So maybe the duendes are out today, I don't know, <laughs> or tonight, I don't know. They're going to pull your toes. <laughs> As far as like um, feelings go, how does it feel? Is it cold, warm? Does it feel heavy? Are you nervous? Um, a little nervous, just because I don't do this. Um, as far as uh, feeling heavy, I don't feel it heavy at all. It's a, it is a little, a, is a little cold. Um, when we went to the other side of the Mount Rubido, it wasn't. Um, but being up here, it feels a little cold. Like. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but there's nothing there. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna bust out the ghost meter. It is an, uh, an EMF reader. <laughs> Whoa. 
what the fuck? <laughs> you know how long it's been since this one's went off? Where'd you go? I can't see you. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, let me hold it. Pass it back to me. Come on, let's go this way. Why is this thing tripping? Turn it off and turn it back on. Nope. I'm gonna bust out the other EMF. It's a K2. Oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It's just sitting on yellow. What the fuck? Is it all red? No, it's still yellow. It's like a stain. What the fuck? That is crazy. Turn that one on, turn it back on. Turn it off, turn it on. You guys see this? There's nothing around us, no electricity, nothing. Did you did you have those last time when you came? And were they going off like that? We got some EMF readings, not like this though, like look at this shit. Like look, there's nothing here. There's fucking graffiti on the floor. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Hey, there's a flashlight up there, see it? Oh, yeah. Stop. I'm just gonna cut him. We're jumping right into the magic. The magic. <laughs> S-Box. Was it a gunshot? Uh, it sounded like it. Right? Right here next to us? Yeah. Well, I think it was behind us. Yeah. But it didn't help that the yes. guy drove off. There is something right here, bro. You have your flashlight? Let me see the flashlight. I swear to God, there's something right here. I hear it like over there. It just smells like shit immediately. Yeah, and it didn't smell like that. You smell it? Yeah. Well, isn't that the sewer anyway? I don't smell it. You still smell it? No. What the fuck? Did you fart? 
No, I claim mine. <laughs> Heck no, what is it? <laughs> so I guess that's, or maybe it was a freaking duende. Yeah, it's on. All right, we stopped the camera. We're trying to figure out if that's a duende or a mouse, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yo, right when I see, what the fuck? Where is it? And I can't see anything. It has to be like right here. Yo, right when I said, is it a duende or a mouse? Alright. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Duende. Mouse. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Spirit Talker app. That is an EVP. It is a way for spirits to communicate with us. I actually really like it. Um, out of most of the apps uh, that claim that spirits can use the energies and talk through them, there's a lot of them that are BS. Um, this one is super credible. Um, there's actually a group, um, Twin Paranormal. They use it. They get a lot of good stuff on there. We've gotten a lot of good stuff because what words we get usually correlate with what situation we're in and it makes sense this is not like random words it's not like peanut butter and it's like oh my god the spirit said peanut butter it's like no like <laughs> we ask it a question and it gives us a definitive answer so yeah. um, i'm gonna go ahead and start it volume on are there any spirits here with us was that a duende or a mouse Any spirits here with us today? We would love to communicate with he you. Pushed. He pushed. He pushed. He pushed who? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. I saw that. I saw that. Right there. If I get fucking dragged in this hole. You've seen it right here, right? Yes, right where you're pointing. You guys, something literally just moved right here. Who's talking? Um, what? It said, who's talking? Let me see. What the fuck? Something there. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, and um, the one talking, my name's Malcolm. My name's Malcolm. What's your name? That's a trip. Yeah. That is crazy. So, so far we got he pushed and who's talking. Board. Board, like a, like a board? Mm -hmm. Like a Ouija board. B-O-A-R-D. Board. Is there any demonic spirits, um, or, um, demonic entities or, or anything negative here? Or any duendes? There's somebody walking. I love how you don't care hmm? if people watch you. Oh, like other people around? Yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't bug me at all. I love this. <laughs> I live for this. Help us.
how would you want me to help you? Are you trapped here? Are you stuck here? Who are you? Nanny. You're the nanny? And what happened to you? If you don't mind me asking, how'd you end up here? Is that who I'm speaking with? If, if that is, can you give me a sign? Can you walk around next to me? Let me know you're here. Speak out loud. Use this device. You had a lot of different movement. Yeah. Spirit. That's always good. It's always a good thing. Jones and you're a good spirit. Nice to meet you, Jones. being watched. Come on, let's come down this way. I want to see if you can do something for me real quick. Better. Yeah. We know you. <laughs> the lights flicker. You see that? Oh yeah. They know you, huh? You guys know me? I've been here a few times. If you really know me though, make that REM pad go off. If you really know me, you know how much I love that REM pod. <laughs> and you'll, you'll give me a sign on that REM pod. You can walk up to it, touch it, run past it. Any of those things will make it go off. If you can make that REM pod go off, I promise to continue coming here. Yeah, a little bit. They'll make the REM pod go off. I believe in them. They'll make it go off. All you gotta do is walk by that REM pod for us. I welcome any spirit to communicate with us through that REM pod. Show us. Show us that you're here. Prove to the world that you exist. Mine. 
Keep it. You want me to sit here? The numbers are blinking. Hey. The numbers are blinking. Oh. Right when I was about to turn off the camera, it starts. You guys hear that? Let's go. Thank you so much. Richard. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> He's like, I don't even tell, tell him my name. I'm claiming that. Over here. Did the number stop blinking? The numbers, they stopped blinking. That's weird. I was about to click it. You seen that? I would have missed it. I hear a girl screaming. You are nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You are nice too. And that was awesome communication. So that's the communication that makes me keep doing this. That's proof. And you got it right when I was about to turn the yeah, camera Yeah, your off. finger was already on the button. Finger was on the trigger. <laughs> and it was beep, it starts going off. You're welcome to keep touching it if you want to play with it. it it'll make noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. That's just, thank you so much. <laughs> that was so sick. And thank you, Ann. You guys are all coming out now. I appreciate it. Can we get somebody to do it again? I know I've been asking for a lot. <laughs> Roberts. Roberts. Here, look. I'm going to stay right here. If you're directly in front of me, walk towards me and then make that rim pop go up. Just walk towards me. I, I'm not going to hurt you guys. Just come forward a little bit and you'll make that device go off again. If you're directly in front of me, just walk this way. I don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much. You can stop touching it now. Is a word. That's crazy. Like it went off. I like it here. <laughs> Yo, let's go. You see how it stopped? Yeah, right when you said. This is I like it here. I like it here too. It doesn't feel. I don't see what people are saying about the demonic stuff. No, I don't feel anything. It doesn't. I don't. I haven't. It's just creepy because there's so much stuff going on. Yeah. Can you make it stop? Stop to... <laughs> you guys are awesome. Awesome. I love you guys. Stop touching it. Back away from the REM pod. <laughs> Thank you. The last word it said was cut. Mm -hmm. We made the noises. We, they made the noises? Yo! That's so cool. <laughs> I got 
about to shoot. That is so sick. <laughs> they said we make the noises. Punch. <laughs> Come on. They're all proud. We made the noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it was us. You guys are so awesome. It's ridiculous. And I hear the bats. I love bats. Whoa. Wrap it up. <laughs> That's crazy. We make the noise. Irish. Irish. When was St. Patrick's Day? Like a week ago or something. Hey, you're late. Now. You're late. Happy late St. Patty's Day. guys are so awesome, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna sleep here. Right here on the floor. <laughs> Just give me the car keys. <laughs> we made the noises. You guys are incredible. Can't wait to get some more equipment so I can, like the SLS and stuff, so I can see them and reach out, and they reach out and touch and you can see it. Yeah. Can't wait. In due time. Jones. It said Jones, Jones earlier. Yeah, it said Jones again. Yeah, Jones, and then it just said Jones. You still you still hanging around here, Jones? Real quick, make that red pot go off if that's you, Jones. I'll give you a little bit of space. I think it's Jones. It's either Jones, Richard, and or Robert. Oh, or Blindness. They don't want to make the noises no more. Thank you guys for communicating. Much love to you. Cold. It is a little cold. Not too bad. Oh, I just see. I just see. Aim the link. Punch over that. I just see something. Tiny white, like. Like an orb? Possibly an orb, I'm not sure. It could have been, it could have either been an orb or dust from oh. like a bug flying across the. Oh. I seen something just like. I said it's an orb, damn it! <laughs> like it was me! I love how they own it. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's me. Okay, can you stop touching it? I'm gonna pick it up. I'm coming. All right. Damn, that means you're like right here. <laughs> Do you feel any? If I feel like a cold breeze, or that just it felt, it felt like a like yeah. a little bit colder. No, you left. Thank you for that. And guys, when it goes off like that, it's obviously because I'm You're touching, touching it. it.